This is the streets. This is Road Warriors. Custom diecast racing. Welcome back to Road Warriors. This is season three. Warpick 76 in the purple nurple. Going up against Tito Racing and Sonic Evo. 80 grams versus 91. Let's get stuck into it. Road Warriors season three. Warpick 76 has the inside in the very first race of season three. Nice win there by Warpick 76 and look at that bounce back. Tito Racing in trouble upside down. Cars do swap lanes after every race and Tito Racing has the inside. Tito Racing squaring up the very first race. In this season, we're only doing two races. We're not going to a third to see who wins and all points accumulate to the final score. Race two, we see Chuck's Garage driving riveted, weighing 79 grams, going up against Blue Line Racing in Cadzilla. This is weighing in a whopping 118.6 grams. Chuck's Garage has the inside. Chuck's Garage in Riverton crosses the line first, gets the first point out of this race. Blue Line Racing's got the inside with Cadzilla. Cadzilla with Blue Line behind the wheel coming in backwards, it doesn't matter how you win. A point is a point and that'll go towards a final score. Driving the Huff for 100 Proof Racing is 2D. This is weighing in at 102 grams. Going up against 2D is Marco Mapelli in the El Toro weighing 64 grams, a Lamborghini. 2D's got the inside. Two D comes across on a 9.6 and a sensational win. Marco Mapelli right behind him. Marco's holding the inside in that Lamborghini. A very close and a very slow finish across the line, but 2D steals the show with two points. Marco Mapelli wondering what happened. Next up is DJ Triple J in the Holden Commodore. The Slick weighing 78 grams. He's going up against Variant Skunk Works in the Naked Evo weighing 75. We know how fast the Evos are on Mount Western Raceway. Gunkworks crosses in a 8.560 and that was a big late charge there by DJ Triple J. Hitting to the crowd. Hope everyone's all right down there. The Evo has the inside. DJ Triple J on the outside. All over Red Rover for DJ Triple J. Variant Skunk Works comes in with a two zip. The Holden Commodore not able to handle the pressure out of race one. Next up driving for NZ Racing is Mad Mike in Max, weighing 48 grams. He's driving the green light Falcon. Going up against Lily the Dog, driving 100 bones and weighing 56 grams. This is a 1971 Matchbox. Mad Mike driving Max, an easy win out of this race. And where's Lily the dog? I think Lily stuck up at turn two. Unfortunate. Car swap lanes. Lily the dog's on the inside.
Lily the dog squaring up everything here with Mad Mike. We have a lot of racing to go in this tournament. We have 21 battles in total, 230 races. Next race, we see Redline Savage Inc. in the 29 Crew Cab, weighing 117 grams. This is a Johnny Lightning. Going head to head with Jack Sparrow in Black Pearl, weighing 113 grams. Redline Savage Inc. has the inside. Redline Savage Inc. slamming into the back wall, taking it home, and where's Jack Sparrow? Right behind him. Not a bad outing on your first time at MWR. Jack Sparrow takes the inside. Can he square everything up? Redline Savage Inc. too good in this race. Jack Sparrow spinning out after turn two. Unfortunate, but we have a lot of racing to go in Road Warriors Season 3 and Jack Sparrow stuck up near the garages. Payne MD driving Sapphire, weighing 64 grams for KCLH Racing, going head to head with TJ Gonzo driving Galactica, weighing 80 grams, an 89 T-Bird stocker. Payne MD has the inside. That was a close finish. TJ Gonzo right on the line, stealing it away from Payne MD. A lot of racing to go in this tournament. TJ Gonzo has the inside. Payne MD on the outside. TJ Gonzo taking it right across the line and the big two points. Very impressive out of this very first battle of Road Warriors Season 3. James Kirk is driving the flying brick for Fractal Panda, weighing 104 grams. Cut Rock Racing driving Turbo Fire, weighing 84 grams. It's a Matchbox Lesney Rollermatic. James Kirk holding the inside lane. James Kirk, oh, and he's over. Oh, and here comes Cut Rock Racing. Slams into him. Car swap lanes, and Cut Rock Racing holds the inside. Cut Rock Racing squaring up this race. James Kirk on one, Cut Rock Racing, and here comes James Kirk. Not too sure what happened to him up the back. Metal Mania 3D in the Welly Volkswagen, weighing 113 grams, the VW Bug. Going up against Crazy Canuck in the Mini Challenge, weighing at 68 grams. This would be very interesting. Metal Mania holds the inside. The Volkswagen brings home the first points, coming in backwards. And here comes Crazy Canuck. Both cars are around about the same size. Crazy Canuck holds the inside. And Metal Mania 3D and a rollover and back on his feet. Wow, I haven't seen that before. Look at that, Metal Mania 3D, two zip. Crazy Canuck stuck up near the garages. Hot car track in the 99 Holden weighing 55 grams. Fantastic looking vehicle. Going up against Lucas in Shell weighing 50 grams. This is a 2019 Mercedes Benz. Hot car track on the inside. Lucas having a good run in the very first race tonight on hot car track. Driving a 2019 Mercedes-Benz. Not too sure what happened to the hold. Hot car track. He's on the outside. Lucas is on the inside.
nice little manoeuvre on the outside there by Hot Car Track, and he squares everything up out of this race. Lucas failing to cross the finish line. Our last race for tonight, and this is Poe Boy Racing driving the Fat Fended 40, weighing 83 grams. He's going up against Crazy Jordan driving SBW, weighing 76 grams for Hot Wheel Boys, the big Jaguar. Poe Boy Racing holds the inside. An easy win there for Poe Boy Racing. Oh, a big hit there by Crazy Jordan. A big fat fended 40 able to handle that. This thing's built like a tank. Crazy Jordan on the inside. Can he square it up on the very last for tonight? Poe Boy and the fat fended 40 doing the double. Stealing the show away from Crazy Jordan at the very last of tonight's first battle, Road Warriors Season 3. What an epic battle this has been tonight. Here's our leaders board. It might be a bit difficult to read on your phone. Nothing we can do about it. I'm working on a solution where you can actually go onto a website and view this. Let me just work on it and I'll get back to you very soon. And once again, a big thank you to our sponsors, you guys, for making this program possible by sending in your custom cars down to Mount Western Raceway. The fastest time tonight was held by Variat Skunk Works in Naked Evo, coming in at a blistering 8.560 seconds. Well done. And the stack of the night, also from the same race, goes to DJ Triple J. Check this out. Wax slams in the Skunk Works. Puts himself off the track and he cleans up some of the punters. They're okay, thankfully. That's a wrap for tonight's racing from Mount Western Raceway and the first battle of Road Warriors Season 3. So until next time, catch you later. This is the streets. This is Road Warriors. Custom diecast racing. <laughs>